Hi, this is Maya Anandan. Welcome to Bilingo Tutorial. And today, our topic of discussion is Chapter 3 from Fine Tune, Noun Clauses. Okay, so before we start our topic, Noun Clause, we can discuss what is a clause. And we will discuss what is a clause. So again, we can go through that. A clause is a group of words with subject and predicate or subject and verb subject and verb ulla group of words in namukku close ennu vilikka and some clauses have complete meaning and some clauses have no complete meaning chela clauses in complete meaning undavam chela thina complete meaning undavilla and which are they that we can say adha edukkana namukku kaanam that is said to be the classification of clause so now we are going to discuss the classification of clause clause inde divisions aanu nammal ini nokkan povunnathu so clauses are of two types independent clause and dependent clause clauses are two types and independent and dependent nammal paranju sometimes some clauses have complete meaning. So those clauses which have complete meaning just like a sentence. Sentence pole complete meaning or the clauses in a independent clauses in the parayam. Complete meaning and down with subject and predicate. They are independent clause. Okay, we can discuss what are independent clauses. See, I told you it has complete meaning. Independent clause in a complete meaning and so you can speak. See this clause. This is a clause and it has a complete meaning just like a sentence. You can speak. Okay, then see an example for dependent clause. Whatever you like. This is a dependent clause. See the word itself says that it is depending. So it depends on some other clause or parts of words or parts of sentences. A dependent clause in a patilla. It need help of other subordinative clauses. Clauses in the Avishon Daga Malingal some more words need they come. So dependent, it is depending on something else to get a complete meaning. Complete meaning illa number paranyu. So Adina where a dingilum close in deo, a lingil where a dingilum uh phrase in deo, avishim varim complete meaning a kitan windit. So see this one whatever you like whatever you like is a dependent clause and we can make it complete by adding this independent clause to that see you can speak whatever you like now this is a complete sentence it, it has a complete meaning and we have seen that independent clause you can speak already had a complete meaning and whatever you like it does not have a complete meaning Whatever you like, we don't have complete meaning. We don't have independent clause. It becomes a complete sentence. Now, it is a complete sentence. In short, dependent clause needs some other words or phrase or clause to get a complete meaning. Dependent clause is where a phrase or clause or words are used to get a complete meaning. Two divisions of clauses we have seen, independent and dependent. Independent clauses have complete meaning. So there is no more classifications for independent clause. Independent clause is not a classification. So no but dependent clause, they have some more classifications. No, dependent clause in a course are the classifications of dependent clause which do the function of noun are said to be noun clause. Dependent clause noun in the function J in the dependent clause in a namukut noun clause in the parayam do the function of a noun noun in the function J in no functions like a noun. Okay. Then, okay, next one it is adverb clause. Adverb clause do the function of an adverb in a sentence. One sentence is adverb in the job, and the function is in the clause. In the adverb clause in the adverb. Then, third one it is adjectival clause or relative clause. Adjectival clause in the relative clause in the third one in the clause. It does the function of adjective in a sentence. Adjectival clauses or relative clauses in the parayin or a sentence in adjective white acting. Okay, so these are the three classifications of 
Dependent Clause. Dependent Clause in the moon classification are noun clause, adverb clause, adjective clause or relative close and today's class is on noun close in the number party can go the noun close in the noun so today's topic is noun close noun close in the number partner in the closes which do the function of a noun in a sentence is noun close noun close in the other or sentence in the noun in the function chain in the close in a we can call it as noun close functions like a noun. So, what are the functions of noun? Noun in the functions of in the kiana that we can see now. See, the first function of a noun is it acts as a subject. Subject act or sentence is active. That is the first function. See the example, then it will be clear. Okay, see this example Britannica rules the wave. In this sentence, we can see two nouns Britannica and the waves. So, in a sentence, if you are asking a question who or what, and we are getting an answer, that is the noun. We will see a sentence in order to show the who, the language, what, and then we will answer it to the other sentence. Le, nouns. If it is a sentence, the whole sentence talks about Britannica. Britannica is the whole sentence. So, that is the subject. And we are getting another noun in predicate portion. Predicate portion, we are getting one more noun that is wave. So, predicate portion, we are getting noun that is object. So, the next function of noun, it is as an object. So, first function we have seen that is as a subject. And second function, it is as object. Okay, see the next example. Sancho Panza was a barber before he turned a follower of Don Quixote. So, in this example, you can see Sancho Panza is the subject. As the subject, Sancho Panza was a barber before he turned a follower of Don Quixote. Here, a barber and a follower is subject complement it is adding something more about sancho panza the sancho panza in the way in the subject in a kurcha some more as a compliment that in a kurcha course should explain to the way in the barber and follower who he is now in the other than a sancho panza if nerti or barber iron and i'll ipo don quixote a follower and so it is complementing to the subject subject in a compliment to you know so another function of Noun it is complement for subject. If it is complementing subject, it is complementing object to noun or subject in a complement and other object in a complement. So next example we can see in this example, Sancho Panza, a barber and follower is a complement for the subject. Subject in a complement. Then we can see one example which says complement of object. See the third sentence. In this sentence, I consider John my mentor. In this sentence, I as a subject and object is John. And we can see one more noun here, mentor. So, I consider John my mentor. So, mentor is a word which complement to the object John. I subject and John object and mentor is object complement. Mender add something or it explains something about John. John, my mender. So, mender is object complement. Another function of noun, it is object complement. So, here we can write as the function, we can write as complement for subject and object another function of noun it is complement for subject and object see the next example john my neighbor does not like cats see here john is a subject that we know and my neighbor does not like cats see this portion my neighbor in my neighbor no la portion we can take it away from the sentence john does not like cats so, John does not like cats in the world. That is the complete meaning. But, my neighbor is not like John. He explains that he is not like an interrupting definition. Aana. We have studied there in a positive phrase that a positives are interrupting definition. 
interrupting definition about a noun a positive nu parayunnathu interrupting definition aanu noun ine kurichittulla or interrupting definition a positive nu parayam ennu nammal already padichu kenju so here noun can act as a positive that is the next function of noun as a positive so these are the four functions of a noun as subject as object as complement for subject or object and as a positive so these are the four functions of noun likewise these are the functions of noun clause to idu thaneyana noun clause inde function noun clause act as noun in a sentence ennu nammal paranju kenju so noun clause um noun ine pole thane sentence il function cheyunu so let's see what are the noun clauses so noun clause as subject let's discuss noun clause how it act as subject in a sentence why he resigned his job is still a mystery in the sentence we talk about why he resigned his job nammal endine kuriche samsarikkunnathu avan endukonde joli upekshichu എന്നത് ഒരു മിസ്റ്ററി ആണ് സോ വി ടോക്ക് അബൌട്ട് വൈ ഹി റിസൈൻഡ് ഹിസ് ജോബ് സോ ദിസ് ഇസ് എ ക്ലോസ് സി ഹി എസ് എ സബ്ജെക്ട് ആൻഡ് റിസൈൻഡ് എസ് ദ വേബ് ഇവിടെ സബ്ജെക്ട് ഉണ്ട് വേബും ഉണ്ട് ആൻഡ് ഇറ്റ് ഇസ് കളക്ഷൻ ഓഫ് വേർഡ്സ് ആൻഡ് ഇറ്റ് ഡസ് ഇൻ ഹാവ് എ കംപ്ലീറ്റ് മീനിങ് ഇതിനൊരു കംപ്ലീറ്റ് മീനിങ്ങും ഇല്ല സോ ക്ലോസിൻ്റെ റൂൾ ഇവിടെ കംപ്ലീറ്റ് അല്ലെങ്കിൽ അത് സാറ്റിസ്ഫൈ ചെയ്യുന്നു അറ്റ് ദ സെയിം ടൈം ഇറ്റ് ആക്ട് എസ് സബ്ജെക്ട് ഓഫ് ദിസ് സെൻറ്റൻസ് ഈ സെൻറ്റൻസിൽ അത് സബ്ജെക്റ്റ് ആയിട്ടും ആക്ട് ചെയ്യുന്നു ഓക്കെ സോ നൗൺ ക്ലോസ് ആക്ട് എസ് സബ്ജെക്ട് സി വൺ മോർ എക്സാമ്പിൾ വാട്ട് ഹി സെഡ് എസ് ടോട്ടലി ഫോൾസ് സോ ഇൻ ദ സെൻറ്റൻസ് വി ടോക്ക് അബൌട്ട് വാട്ട് ഹി സെഡ് അവൻ എന്താ പറഞ്ഞത് അതിനെക്കുറിച്ചാണ് നമ്മൾ സംസാരിക്കുന്നത് സോ വാട്ട് ഹി സെഡ് എസ് ടോട്ടലി ഫോൾസ് so this is the subject in the sentence and it is a noun clause he is there and said is the verb so subject plus verb or predicate at at the same time it is acting as a subject for the whole sentence so this is a noun clause acting as subject okay next it is noun clause acts as ഒബ്ജെക്ട് നൗൺ ക്ലോസ് ഒബ്ജെക്റ്റ് ആയിട്ട് ആക്ട് ചെയ്യുന്നതാണ് നെക്സ്റ്റ് നമുക്ക് കാണാനുള്ളത് യു മസ്റ്റ് റിമെമ്പർ ദാറ്റ് യു ആർ നോട്ട് ചിൽഡ്രൻ യു മസ്റ്റ് റിമെമ്പർ എന്താണ് നമ്മൾ ഓർക്കേണ്ടത് ദാറ്റ് യു ആർ നോട്ട് ചിൽഡ്രൻ നിങ്ങൾ കുട്ടികളല്ല എന്നത് സോ ദിസ് ഇസ് ദ ഒബ്ജെക്ട് നമുക്കറിയാം വേബിന് ശേഷം വരുന്ന നൗൺ ഇറ്റ് ഇസ് ദ ഒബ്ജെക്ട് ഹിയർ വേബ് ഇസ് മസ്റ്റ് റിമെമ്പർ മസ്റ്റ് റിമെമ്പർ എന്നുള്ള പ്രെഡിക്കേറ്റ് പോർഷൻ കഴിഞ്ഞു വന്നിരിക്കുന്ന ഒരു നൗൺ പോർഷൻ ആണ് ഇത് ദാറ്റ് യു ആർ നോട്ട് ചിൽഡ്രൻ നിങ്ങൾ കുട്ടികളല്ല എന്നത് so this is the object of this whole sentence so noun clause acting as object and this is the noun clause this is either a noun clause aanannu namukku manasilaakkam u ennulla subject und and are not children nulla predicate portion und clause which is acting as noun in a sentence is noun clause and it is here it is object of this sentence okay then one more example we are really surprised at what has happened what has happened is the object see we are really surprised at endilana surprised a irikkunathu at what has happened endano sambhavichathu adil so here we are talking about a noun after verb verb in shesham surprised nulla are really surprised nulla verb in shesham we are talking about a noun oru nounine kurichu samsarikkunu so that is the object of this sentence okay next it is noun clause as complement we have seen that noun acts as complement for subject and object likewise noun clause also act as complement for subject and object let's see the examples see these examples what i like about clive is that he is not alive here that he is not alive is the complement complement for the subject clive then the trouble with kitten is that it becomes a cat so that it becomes a cat is another complement so these two examples says that noun clause can act as complement that he is not alive and that it becomes a cat these two are complements noun clause acting as complements okay next it is noun clause acting as appositive 
a positive i have already told you it is interrupting definition about a noun so here see the first example the saying that good fences make good neighbors has a lot of truth in it okay uh, saying that good fences make good neighbors this is the saying good fences make good neighbors saying good fences make good neighbors saying see the sentence the saying has a lot of truth sentence complete saying has a lot of truth saying explain that good fences make good neighbors so this is the appositive noun close in this sentence good fences make good neighbors noun clause acting as a positive interrupting definition aanu saying endanannu parnirikkunu then see the next example epicures first propounded the idea that matters is composed of atom ivide matters is composed of atom ennallathu ee idea ye explain cheyidirikkunu appo endha idea ennu explain cheythu paranju thannirikkunu epicures propounded the idea edha idea venengilum aava ma idea endu ennathu explain cheythu thannirikkunu so that is a positive again noun clause acting as a positive so these are the two examples in which noun clause acts as a positive okay usually for this a positive noun clauses head words will be factive nouns he head words fact a positive noun in the head words eppolum factive nouns aayirikkum endan factive nouns nu nokkam facts ne kuriche parayna nouns saying idea principles idu polulla words nanu factive nouns nu parayna see saying idea ennokkeya ivideyum kaanu word a positive noun clause in the head word so these are the four types of noun clauses we can see and textual exercise now it is the turn of textual exercise first question is identify the noun clauses in the following sentences and first one nobody knows what he has in his mind which is a very dark place and noun clauses in this sentences are what he has in his mind and which is a very dark place okay the next question when his thought comes to my mind i think of what he told me once in this sentence the noun clauses are when his thought comes to my mind and what he told me once next question i discovered that the boy who came here was john's brother in this sentence that boy who came here is a noun clause two more questions are there from this session that you may do next section complete the following sentences each with a noun clause first question he is a liar and so you need not believe the answer is he is a liar and so you need not believe what he says second question is dash turned out to be completely wrong and the answer is that prediction he made turned out to be completely wrong third question is he defended the murder on the ground dash and the answer is he defended the murder on the ground that he was blind two more questions are there from this section and you may do it too okay thanks for watching thanks a lot